Hi everyone, I'm Julian. Welcome po mga ma'am sir sa part 2 ng ating PEDAX tutorial. Sa part 1, tinuruan ko kayo kung paano gumawa ng account. In this one, I'll teach you about the verification process, yung iba-ibang klaseng accounts dito sa PEDAX, transaction limits, at kung paano mag-cash in. So kung gusto nyo pag-usapan lahat ng yon, keep on watching. So, ready ka na mag-cash in. Pero ang tanong, ang account mo ready na ba? Before ka makapag-cash in dito sa PEDAX, kailangan ay verified muna ang iyong account. And to do that, ang gagawin natin ay click nyo to, and then yung settings, tapos upgrade account. So, mabilis lang naman to. Checking account, please wait. And then, click natin tong personal because we are going to trade as an individual. And then, lagay lang natin yung contact information. And then, click next. So, after ng basic info, we have to input our address. So, basic info, check. Address, check. Ang next naman is video selfie. So, make sure na sa lighting nyo, makikita yung inyong napakagandang muka. Kung extra kayo, kung gusto nyo mag-ring light, pwede naman. Wala namang pipigil sa inyo. So, ang gagawin nyo lang is gagawa ng dalawang circle, kagaya ng ginagawa ng babae sa ating video. Start recording. Two circles. One. Two. Ayan. Siyempre, may ngiti sa dulo dahil extra tayo. The next step is pipili ka lang ng document to pass para sa verification. So, pwedeng driver's license, passport, UMID, Unified Multipurpose ID, SSS, Postal ID, Alien Certificate of Registration, ICR, Immigrant Certificate of Registration. Upload yung front side and then yung back side and then you are good to go. Mabilis lang naman yung verification ng process ng PEDAC so you don't have to worry. Although minsan nagkakaroon ng slight glitch, yung sa account ng parents ko, nahirapan kami na i-verify yung kanila. Tamang basic information na nagtutugma naman sa sinabmit na ID. Ang sasabihin niya is, hindi daw tugma yung name and ID. So what we did was, kinontact namin yung mga admin and then resolve naman after 3 days. Although I hope that doesn't happen to you. And if it doesn't, yun nga, like I said, super dali lang, mabilis lang. Within an hour lang, verified na yung account niyo. Before we proceed sa pagka-cash in, let's talk about the different account types and yung transaction limits nila. So you can see here, na kapag unverified ka, hindi ka pwede mag-cash in. Pag verified account naman, ang daily limit mo is 50,000, monthly limit 150,000, with an annual limit na 500,000. Sa premium account, daily limit is 100,000 pesos, monthly limit 400,000, and annual limit 3 million pesos. Kanina pinakita natin kung paano magpa-verify na account. Now, let's talk about paano maging premium account. So, here are the requirements. Proof of income and proof of address. So, proof of income, ang tinatanggap nilang documents are payslip, ITR, bank statement, and passbook. Meanwhile, sa proof of address naman, electric, water, telephone, internet, credit card bill, lease contract kung nagarenta kayo, or barangay certificate of residency. Make sure na yung both documents nyo for proof of income and address are not older than 3 months. Once na meron na kayo ng documents na yun, email those at accounts at pedax.ph. If you look at reviews ng mga iba-ibang users regarding this application process, merong mga nag-share na experiences na mabilis lang do yung process for them. But personally ako, and again, my parents' account, nag-submit na kami many times, follow up ng many times, and yet we didn't hear back from them. So when we were still using Pedax, we never got upgraded to premium account. Hindi namin na experience ang kasosyalan ng premium account. Now we're back here sa ating homepage or portfolio and then makikita natin dito portfolio activities and then funds. Click lang natin yung funds, payment in and then let's click fiat currencies PHP cash in. Ayan. And then, mariri-direct tayo dito. So, there are three ways for us to cash in. Merong online banking, payment centers, at e-wallets. Online banking is the one that I prefer kasi you can do it at the comfort of your home or kahit nasaan ka man. Also, because most of them, mababa lang yung fees and may mga options na real-time mag appear yung ika-cash in mo. Ang downside lang na mga to, madalas silang unavailable as you can see here dahil sila ay under maintenance. Aside sa online banking, we also have e-wallets. So we have Gcash, 
Coins.ph and Paymaya. So, hindi ko mawari kung bakit may 0.1% ba dito at plus 15. Pero makikita naman kasi natin na yung limit niya is 200 to 100,000 pesos. As suppose dito sa Gcash and Coins.ph na 200 to 50,000 pesos lang. Kung ayaw nyo naman na online banking or e-wallets, may option din kayo for over-the-counter. Same problem lang sa online banking, madalas silang unavailable or under maintenance. At ganito yung mag-a-appear if we choose online banking and then halimbawa itong Asia United Bank. Lalagay mo dito yung cash in amount. Turn mong i-enter yung details dito. Halimbawa, 50,000. Tapos, makikita mo dito yung convenience fee. Kapag nilagay mo na yung next, merong mag-i-email sa iyo na instructions. So, merong email na ganito. Click natin yan. Merong lalabas na mga information. Parang ganito rin yung mag-a-appear kapag hindi pa siya paid. Tapos, kung magkano yung amount na ika-cash in ninyo, dito mag appear. And then, merong instruction sa baba. After ma-confirm ng payment, agad naman ding lalabas sa inyong portfolio. And then, you are ready to trade. Make sure to watch my next video. Itutur ko kayo sa trading platform ng Pedax. I'll also walk you through the buy and sell process. Pero bago yon, don't forget to leave me some love. Like this video, share to your friends, comment down below kung bakit gusto nyo mag-trade, magkwentuhan tayo sa comment section. At dahil nandito na rin kayo, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.